Alright. It's time. Now on the YouTube, I'm the Toffman, and welcome to a little video that I'm going to do on uh, something I've been meaning to do, actually. It is about Fortnite and what is happening to Fortnite and what is happening to gaming just in general of the whole that's had me just a little bit worried about, um, about where things are going in the future. Now, you've got to excuse me, guys. I'm still a little bit unwell. So if you hear me coughing, um, then you know why. So I'm going to start with Fortnite because that seems to be uh, where I first noticed the disturbing trend of what was happening uh, coming up. So, I was playing Fortnite, right? I got Fortnite when it first came out. Literally, as soon as it was available, I was on that thing. I really loved the aspect, the building aspect, the PvE. That is what I bought the game for. However, things changed. Uh, things changed quite drastically when the PvP aspect was brought into it and the Battle Royale. Uh, it kind of went PUBG and, uh, and just plain ripped off PUBG. Let's be quite honest, guys. It did plain rip off PUBG. It's got its own little nuances, but uh, it did pretty much rip off uh, PUBG. <coughs> so, why has that made me a little bit cross, but also wondering what the hell is going on with gaming? Well, you've got to look into it, guys. And FIFA, EA, have known this for a long, long time. That it's not the game that brings them the money. It's the extra content. And as people, as you know, people who are buying the game, um, we are being tr sold the extra content, or being tried to be sold that extra content. Luckily, I've only ever bought a few packs in the future on Ultimate Team, so it's never really been that much of an issue for me. But I know people personally have spent hundreds of pounds on Ultimate Team, and I am not joking, you guys. I have seen people spend. Upwards of three, four, five hundred pounds. As soon as they get their wage, it's gone because they're buying Ultimate Team. And could you call it gambling in some respects? Of course you can. But it's that, it's that thrill of opening a random pack and and getting a special. It's like when I was a kid. Do you know what I mean? And you got those, uh, you got the little panini stickers, and you got a shiny one in there, and you was like, oh, I've been after the shiny one for ages. That's what. Uh, FIFA Ultimate Team comes down to and that is what games industries are cashing in on um, uh, it, over the last few years it just seems to have blown out of completely out of proportion now let's take into uh, t take into account that and move forward from EA because I really don't like EA but they've done the same thing with um, Star Wars Battlefront 2 as well so I believe I have not played that game because it's from EA, and because of the all, all the uh, negative thing about um, about what EA have done with this extra kind of packs, like loot box type of thing that is going on at the minute. So I have just not touched it, because I refuse to give money. And this is the way of beating these people, is don't give them the opportunity, don't give them the money um, that, that warrants doing this sort of thing to the customers. So, on to the actual point of what I'm getting at, is Fortnite. And the PvE, um, I absolutely love it. I love the save the world aspect of the game. I really, really do love it. I'm getting right into it. And it does need fixing, guys. There is a few issues that need sorting out, inventory sort of, you know, tweaks. And, and because I play it on the PlayStation, doing going on the, on the skill tree, when you're at one side of the skill tree and you've got to get right to the other side of the fucking skill tree, like, literally, it takes forever to scroll with your with your button. I've tried um, D-pads, I've tried everything. To try to make that damn thing move quicker, it just doesn't do it. So there's little like user interface kind of things that do need to be sought out and rejigged and uh, I think some things need to be explained a little bit better as well when it comes to save the world. It's a good game mode though and I'm really really enjoying it. My issue is, and it's the same issue as with FIFA, as I've moaned out about in the past, is the version 3 kind of development program, the kind of development phase, um, was entirely PvP. There was a tiny little bit at the bottom of PvE of things that they've managed to do, but the entire lot of the version 3 was PvP. And it's a disturbing trend, guys, because that means that they're spending a lot more time on PvP than PvE. And that is not what I bought the game for. That is not what they said to me that this game would be. 
There's one of two ways that this can go, guys, and that is they continue down the PvP, which, in fairness, does bring them more money when it comes to V-Bucks, people are buying V-Bucks, people are buying these uh, uh, piñatas and stuff like that. I don't buy piñatas. I get, I work for my piñatas. This is another issue I will uh, will discuss a little bit later on. I work for what I get. I don't buy it. And, um... I mean, all fairness to any kind of business model, you will want to make more money. It doesn't matter what you do, you will always want to make more money. That is the point of a business, that is the point of something that you put your effort into. Um, but when they deliberately mislead you at the start, saying this is what this type of game is, and they've completely shifted away from that, kind of leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Now, the things have been said like, don't worry, you know, PvE, it, we, it's just a different team that's working on PvP than PvE, which is why we had a big update on PvP and not much on the PvE side. Okay, that's all well and good, but there is literally nothing that's being spoken about with upcoming PvE stuff. When when it comes to Christmas time, this Christmas just gone, um, the Survive the Storm, that was really good with game mode. Absolutely love playing that, me and my lad. And, um, you know, what else did they bring in? They brought that the seasonal gold stuff in and the event kind of things. I like that. It makes me want to work towards something and then earn it doing it that way. You can, of course, buy these things as well, which is where they're trying to get the money from for doing the PvE. Now, the issue is, of course... What route are they going to go down? Are they going to go down the PvP route and just constantly, you know, concentrate on the PvP, the Battle Royale? It's a game mode I'm, I've no interest in PvP. Absolutely no interest at all. I pl tried playing it with my youngest. He was badgering me. Dad, play this, play this, play this, play with me, please. Play this, play this, play this with me. So I did. I played him. I, I had a few games, two or three games, and um, I did decent, but there's just nothing there for me. Absolutely nothing there for me at all. He loves it. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. But um, yeah, the the, the uh, what are they going to do now? Are they going to use? This is what I'm hoping is going to happen. This is one way that it could go. Are they going to use the money that they get from PvP to also improve the PvE side and bring th more things into the PvE, which doesn't necessarily bring them more money in, but still has its core base of supporters? Me, for instance. Or are they just literally going to plough everything into that PvP and watch as PvE just disappears and dies? If that is the case, I am never buying anything from Epic Games ever again. That is not what they said at the start of this. What the whole thing was, was the PvE. They just realised that PUBG was getting a lot of ex exposure and a lot of popularity and jumped on the bandwagon. If I wanted to play PvP, I would play PUBG. I wouldn't play Fortnite. If I wanted a PvE, I would play Fortnite and not PUBG. It goes both ways, guys. I don't see... They've made some money, okay? And that's the main reason why they've done it. But, please, Epic Games, do not discount your PvE uh, supporters and backers who bought this game when you said that this was the game that it was going to be. I remember seeing a video very, very early on before it even was was thought of, and um, and I absolutely loved the look of it. It's it speaks to me in absolute volumes. They, I mean, I am a fan of <coughs> Arcs Must Die, loved that, and I am a massive fan of the original. Uh, Dungeon Defenders. Dungeon v Defenders 2 kind of went by the wayside. It went trying to make money rather than trying to make a good game. Um, the only way to stand up to these companies, guys, is to not get drawn in and buy it. It was too late for me because literally it, I, I bought it for the PvE because at that point PvP wasn't a thing. Okay? So... If I was if I was speaking to a new person at this moment in time who says, "Oh, should I get Fortnite Battle Royale? Uh, should I get Fortnite?" Uh, if you're interested in the PvP aspects and you're interested in PUBG and stuff like that, then yes, Fortnite would probably be a good thing. I would wait until it becomes free to play because they're making enough money off people anyway. Uh, they're just I don't understand why they haven't already made it free to play with the amount of people that has already bought the game. They could just go ahead and say, right, it's free to play now, and then live off the uh, of what they get from the PvP. Um, I would quite happily pay 
the PvE side of things, I would quite happily pay for a game like that. And, you know, f- for expansions that got brought into the future, by all means, I would happily pay for that. Assassin's Creed <coughs> has brought not a massive amount uh, into the, that sort of thing, uh, but it was... You can go ahead and buy these Helix credits that will allow you to put more stuff into the game. You can get little bits and bobs that will help you throughout the game. Um, Which I don't think is a bad thing, because it's not taken away from the actual game. They're not going all out trying to make you buy these Helix credits and then taking it away from the, uh, the game aspect of it. The game is a very good game. I love Assassin's Creed, guys. The new Assassin's Creed, I can recommend that uh, from, from here till next fucking Sunday. I could really recommend that game. So much so, I bought the season ticket as well. I really want to see those uh, expansion packs. I've played through the entire main campaign, and uh, I'm level 40 now. I've left it. They've still got quite a few side quests to do, but I've left it because I want to wait until my level cap arises, and then I can go in and do all those little side quests and then get my level up more that way. I've just left it for the minute. Love that game. There is the other one as well, Call of Duty. Now, I I love the new Call of Duty. I'm not going to lie, I'm really getting into the new Call of Duty. The multiplayer aspect of it, more than the the, the single player, um, I've played one of the campaign, one mission, that's it, uh, and then I went online. I've been playing that with my eldest, actually. He's much better player than I am. Uh, I don't know where that came from, but it, I've been playing it, and that is a really, really good uh, game. Love it. Absolutely love it. And they brought a loot box system in as well, where you can take these collectibles and then you can get these uh, guns. I don't know if they're skins. I haven't got that far yet. I don't know if they're skins for the guns or if they are guns that you are unlocking that you can go ahead and use in uh, in you know uh, in the game. Now, I would be very disappointed if the fact of these loot boxes unlocked actual guns that were powerful versions or something like that, because that is basically paying to win. And I don't like that. Which brings me on to my next point. The likes of Fortnite. The likes of um, Call of Duty, for instance. Call of Duty is massive. I don't know if Destiny does it as well, actually, to be fair. I could be wrong. (coughs) But the likes of Call of Duty, especially. As soon as somebody... This is my idea. As soon as somebody pays real money to get these COD points, or whatever they are nowadays to then buy these loot boxes themselves, they should be put into a different class to the people that play to win rather than pay to win. I do not think it is morally right to put pay to win people in a match with play to win people. I do not think that that is right and that is something that needs to be stopped and stamped out immediately, especially in multiplayer games. You should not be allowed. All the people that have paid by all means, go in your own fucking lobby. Go in your own lobby and play amongst yourselves because you cheating bastards using your own money to fucking get get a, a leg up. That is is not what gaming is about. It's not about cheating to get there. It's about earning what you get. All the supply drops that I've earned in COD are through doing stuff that I've done in game. I've achieved that and there is an accomplishment around it that cannot be bought. You can't buy that accomplishment. And I think that play to win people should be kept separate to pay to win people. I don't think it's fair. I honestly don't think it's right. I don't think it's fair to put these people in uh, with one another because um, of the achievements that you get. You know when you're playing with somebody then that you're playing with somebody who has achieved through skill and through their own play, um, the kills, the the guns that they've got, the skins, that they've, whatever it is that they have that you don't have, they've achieved that. In the pay to win, I believe people can just go ahead and over into a different lobby and stay well away from me because I don't want to play with somebody who's bought what they've got because that I, it's a typical it's a typical simulation of life really uh, because you get people who really you know, work and work and work and work and and when they get a PlayStation, it's like, oh my God, I've I've, I've earned this. And then you get the other side of the uh, other side of the coin that you know, Daddy's got a really good job and 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 you're at home, sat on your backside, you know, not contributing anything to society, 
and yet you, you get given a PlayStation. It seems that kind of way, and there's a lot of it, there's a lot to be said about like you know the 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 life simulation that's in these fucking things. You know, money gets you everywhere. I mean, money is everything, and I really wish people. The only people who don't say, who say oh money's not everything are people with money. Is that right? There's a way around that I was looking at it. I remember thinking about it a while ago, but I've slept since then, so... Never mind. But this is what I'm saying, guys. I think that there should be two separate things. I think there should be people that appear to win and people that appear to win, and they should be completely separate from one another. Now, I want to bring into... I want to bring in, you know, about gaming recently that that has really kind of... I, I, I'm not finding anything within gaming recently, apart from the Assassin's Creed, um, the PvE on Fortnite, and of course the multiplayer on COD. I'm not finding anything different, new, or exciting to play because too many companies are looking at how they can make more and more money, bringing in these stupid systems like loot boxes and stuff like that. Now, I don't mind loot boxes as long as you earn the loot boxes not pay for the loot boxes. What they've basically done is looked at mobile gaming, looked at Candy Crush, looked at play, uh, games like that and thought, that works. That works. People buying things for the game that can help them out in the game. That's fair enough. You've, they, they can earn them, same as what they do in Candy Crush, but they can pay for them as well, which gives them an unfair advantage, in my eyes, above the people who play to win, who don't have the money to go out and spending her who don't want to play pretty much like myself I've paid 50 quid for the game I don't want to then spend another 50 pound just so I can keep on par with every fucker around me that is not what I buy a game for I buy it for the enjoyment The Last of Us a brilliant single player campaign it was fantastic there was no multiplayer there was no loot boxes there was nothing it was just game I missed those times I do miss those times, and um, I really want those times to come back, but it won't, because there are too many people buying into loot boxes, there are too many people buying into collectibles, there are too many people buying into, please make the game easier for me, I've just spent 50 quid, but please make the game even easier by chucking another 50 quid at it. It's not my idea of fun, it certainly isn't my idea of gaming, and gone are the days, I think, guys. Gone are the days where you can just sit down and play. It's disappointing. Um, there was a game, actually, in the past, Guild Wars, the original Guild Wars. I bought the game, and they did free updates, and it was like, how are they managing to get the money to do this? I never understood how they did that. I don't think they did in fact, get the money to be able to do that, which is why Guild Wars 2 came out, and I think a few things have changed within Guild Wars 2 to try and recuperate some money. They did, however, have expansions that you could buy on top of the original game, and this is something like DLC. I don't mind stuff like that, because it adds content, and I pay for that new content. It's the same with when you look at Minecraft. Minecraft was a game that... Um, it didn't need loot boxes or anything like that. It was a good game, which is why people bought it. It brought into the creativity side of us. It brought into all that sort of, uh, of thing that, that which made it so popular. For me, modding was massive for, uh, for, for Minecraft, and it certainly changed the way that I looked at Minecraft and the way that I wanted to play Minecraft. I simply couldn't play vanilla anymore. I would have to play modded because... <coughs> it's just so much better modded. So the point is then, these modders that sit down and, and, and make this content, there's a whole hoo-ha uh, on this, uh, you know, in Twitter and YouTube, all sorts of places, that um, that this, this modding community, that they were going to do something so that you paid for the mod that you get. I don't think that's a bad idea. I actually think it's a really, really good idea, mainly because it gives... Modders an incentive to make a really, really good mod and keep on top of it for what the price you pay. 
I think that's a really good thing for modding. There's a lot of mods around the place that aren't fixed, that aren't even usable properly, that um, you know get uh, memory leaks and and such and such and so forth. I think that it was a really good idea to bring in sort of a paid modding service that maybe a Fiverr, Fiverr, here, a Fiverr. Then this is another aspect of what people don't get from stuff that they pay for. Okay, um, I'm going off topic a little bit here, but you know we'll we'll go with it. We will go with it. Basically, guys, I look at games, how much I pay for them versus how many hours of enjoyment that I'm going to get from this particular game later on. So the games like The Last of Us, for instance, it was forty pounds. It wasn't a forty pound a, a forty hour. Uh, campaign. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I could be wrong, but it wasn't a, a 40 hour campaign. Roughly, that is about, even if it was 20 hours, if it was 20 hours, that's 20, um, that's £2 per hour. Is it? £40? 20 hours? Yeah. £2 per hour of enjoyment. You can't go to the cinema without spending 50 quid for an hour and a half. By the time you've eaten, you know, popcorn, nachos, cheese, all that sort of stuff that I eat because I'm fat, you can't do that. You go, you go bowling, and what, what's that? It's about an hour, two games in an hour, and that's thirty odd quid gone. This is what I mean about gaming. People are too busy whinging and moaning about the price of stuff that they're trying to drive the price down and the, and gaming uh, gaming companies are looking for other ways of making money this is a good way of getting into uh, what i was actually talking about they're too busy looking at the price and thinking 60 quid 60 quid i'm paying 60 quid for that no i'm not i'll wait till it comes out on sale then it comes out on sale 30 quid but the gaming company have already lost that original money they're, they're literally for half price okay so They've got to find a way of making money, hence loot boxes, hence this, hence that, hence this whole shit that comes along with it. Why don't people look at a game and say, for example, Football Manager, cost me £35, and I will have at least 300 hours of sometimes enjoyment, because the game can you can get raged quite sometimes, especially me. But 300 hours. I mean, let me just use my uh, my calculator here. Because why the hell not? 300 hours. Right, divided by 35 pounds. No. 35 pounds divided by 300 hours. 11 pence an hour is what it costs me to have that fun. And people don't look at things that way. And it really annoys me. Because that's why gaming companies are looking for this other aspect, this other route into making money. And they've gone, unfortunately, the wrong way of doing it. Because it takes from the game and more into business. And I just want to play a game. I don't want to play a business. I don't want to get into this this horrible system that, has, that started up. And it's only going to get worse. I don't mind loot boxes, but please do not let them be available to buy from your own money it's just not fair or right on the game if you do do that which i have as a business and having been a business owner you do want to make money and i agree but at the same time you're losing a lot you're losing a lot of what makes gaming great so if you're going to do it, I reckon they should literally split the uh, the communities because I want them. To, I want to see people who play to win. I want to be with those people and and achieve and get achievements and and really earn what I'm doing. I don't want to be with these people who have bought the shit that they've got and not earned it. I don't want to play with them. They're knobheads. These are good people. These know how the world works. Not these bastards who give money to fucking companies that don't deserve it because they haven't given me or given a good gaming experience. They just want the money. They don't want to fix. Like FIFA, 
the career mode. There's a lot of things that they could do to career mode to fix it, to make it better, but they don't. They're too busy fucking about with FIFA Ultimate Team because that is what gives them more money. It's been like that for years, and it's about time it stopped. It's about time it stopped, and this is what worries me about Fortnite. I hope they don't spend all of their time and energy on PvP and completely forget about the PvE side. I hope they use some of the money that does come through from PvP and put it into the PvE side, because that is what the game was originally meant to be. That is what millions of people have bought into before you changed it. And I'm not having it. But anyway, that guys, that is my moan done, dusted, I'm out of here. I need a good cough. I need some cough medicine as well, actually. And somebody rang me, so I need to go and find out who that is. Anyway, till next time, guys. Be the top man, as always. Stay safe.